What a mess. Whoever it was, they sure went all out. You think there's anything left out there? Hey, Tony. How long before the Federation gets here? Well, let's see. The last SOS went out a half an hour ago, so... We've probably got at least three hours, right? No sign of any nearby ships either. Right, Hammer? Yep. We're the only ship within a 5,000 light year radius. All right. That should be enough. Let's grab anything that looks salvageable. You know, Captain, I realize the deadline for paying back Master Guinan is right around the corner, but don't you think this is a little risky? I mean, if the Feds find us out, we'd be lucky to get ten years. That's if they find out. You know the Feds aren't gonna patrol all the way out here in the middle of nowhere. Well, I just don't like the idea of feeding off the dead. I mean, what are we? Space jackals? Vultures? Hyenas? You moron! What kind of metaphor is that? Don't be comparing us to extinct animals. You'll jinx us. We're recyclers, dammit. Environmentally friendly space recyclers. Master Guinan told us to stay away from any side jobs, remember? He said it hurts the Foundation's image. I don't know. Oh ho! We got a wrecked ship here, three o'clock. Looks like a Ganymede class. Nice work there, Tony. Good thing we were tapping the UMN emergency channel. Come on, pull in close, hurry. Yep. We're vultures. What was that? Spectrum matches up perfectly. It's a geocrystal. All right. Not bad. Let's start with that one. It's not a Geo Crystal, you idiot! It's a corpse! Well, what'd you expect? This is a battlefield. That's eh, no big deal. Don't bother wasting fuel. Just keep going and let it bounce off. You're kidding, right? My dead grandma told me to be respectful of the dead. Sorry, but I don't want any bad karma. You do it, Captain. You moron! What? Is that your grandfather out there? Don't be ridiculous. Just shut up and keep moving. Man, not again. Captain, this is so typical of you, making us do all the dirty work. You moron! What the hell are you doing? I said bounce it off! Well, don't look at me. It got stuck on its own. It's not my fault. Whatever. Just get rid of it. Hey, it's a girl. She might be cute, you know? <laughs> <laughs> My ass, you sicko. Who the hell cares how she looks? She's dead. Exactly. Besides, she's facing the other way. It's a shame we can't meet face to face. Please open your communications line. I need to speak with you. Frequency 2020. Ah, a talking corpse! <laughs> You moron! Open your eyes! That ain't no corpse! This ain't happening. This ain't happening! It... Uh, it's a Realian. Or a cyborg. Something like that. But I've never heard of a Realian that can operate out in space. Well, it's probably a military robot or something. Just open the channel. Uh... <clears throat> I'm Captain Matthews of the Tramp Freighter Elsa. We received your SOS signal earlier. It happened to be within range of our navigational path, uh, so we rushed here to your rescue. Huh? Rescue? rescue? Oh! Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> so, is there anything we can do to assist you? What do you mean, rescue? What about our side job? Relax, you moron. We're gonna grab what we can while taking care of this little rescue. With this miss. I bet there's no one left alive anyway. I will make this brief. I request that you gate jump to second Milsha immediately. Say what? Oh yeah. Keep dreaming, sweetheart. We can't leave yet. We still got work to do. 
And besides, second Milsha? Have you any idea how much it would cost to travel that far? There is no need for concern. We will cover all UMN gate fees incurred. You expect us to believe that? Even if that were true, we've got other business to attend to right now. We don't have that kind of time. My time is limited as well. Failure to comply will result in the destruction of this window. <laughs> Go ahead, give it a try. The Elsa's forward window can withstand direct hits from debris as big as six millimeters. A punch from a girly like you wouldn't even dent. <laughs> One more strike and this window will shatter. It appears that none of you are wearing spacesuits. Keep in mind that I am making this proposal with goodwill. I could just as easily toss you out into space and take over the ship. Ah, okay, okay! Yeah, we'll do it, we'll do it! Don't be so rash! Had you accommodated me from the outset, we would have saved 1 minute 45 seconds. I am coming on board now. Please open the cargo bay. Yeah, right. One more thing. What? What? Do not accelerate in an attempt to knock me off. If you do so, I will destroy the engine and the entire ship with it. <sighs> She's got us, Red. Shut up. Hey, Captain, I've got someone on the open channel. Who could it be? Survivors? Oh. Uh, hold on. I'll put it on the speakers. Hello? Is anybody out there? Hello? Anyone? If anyone is scanning this channel, please help! Come on, Chief, you give it a try. Don't worry. A rescue ship will come for us eventually. I'm more concerned about Cosmos. Now where could she be? How would I know? Besides, we're not out of the woods yet. I mean, the Gnosis might still be around. I'm not worried about that right now. We have to retrieve Cosmos. Forget about Cosmos, what about us? Oh, if I knew this was gonna happen, I wouldn't have let everyone else go first. Maybe they're still around. You think? I can't believe you. Alan, how can you be so insensitive after all that's happened? What do you mean? Of course I'm traumatized. Chief, that was really uncalled for. Do you think that I'm an emotionless android? For you to even think that is the most traumatizing thing of all. No, I never said anything like that. You just did. You think I'm an android, don't you? What the hell? Huh? Uh, hey! Xion. Cosmos? Cosmos, is that you? Where are you right now? I am on board a civilian ship passing through the area. Please remain at your current locale. A Federation rescue vessel should arrive soon. Remain here? Cosmos, just what are you up to? I am commandeering this ship to go to Second Milsha. These are my orders from headquarters. You're going wait. Wait a second! What about us? Unfortunately, you were not mentioned in my orders. Therefore, this mission takes priority. Oh, I see. What, you expect us to sit here and wait for the cavalry? That is the logical conclusion. Wait a second! What guarantee do we have that the Federation will dispatch a rescue? What if no one comes? The two of us will starve to death inside this pod! You can't do this! Actually, suffocation would come first. Your air supply will be depleted in 46 hours. 
Oh, in that case... Suffocation?! That is correct. But there is a 96% probability that a rescue vessel will arrive within 15 hours. Your chances of survival are high, but this is not a certainty. Uh, but... There's no way I'm going to allow this! You cannot act on your own, Cosmos! Bring us on board immediately! There is no time for this. I am signing off. Xion, Alan, please take care. Now just wait one second, Cosmos! You better bring us on board, or I'll open the hatch. You hear me? What? What are you doing, Chief? Please, don't do anything crazy! Be quiet, Alan. Listen to me, Cosmos. You know what'll happen if I turn this lever, right? Doesn't this go against your directive? After all, you're supposed to bring us back alive. Am I right? You are delaying me from my mission. I suggest you do as you please. Cosmos! You don't believe I'll do it, do you? I'm serious, you know. What? She's really gonna do it! Why not help her? <sighs> Sounds like she means it. Hey, Chaos. You're up. With all this racket, who could sleep? So, is that okay with you? Well, it looks like she doesn't have any objections. So it's all up to you, Captain. What do you say? Think we ought to rescue them? Uh, well, if you say so. Sure, I don't mind. Tony? Excuse us. Uh, um, we... I'm Captain Matthews. My name is Shion Uzuki, and I'm from Vector Industries, 1st R&D Division. And this is my co-worker, Alan Ridgely, who also works in the same division. We do apologize for all the trouble our errant cosmos may have caused you. Come on, Ellen. Show them your gratitude. Uh, right. Thank heavens you were around to rescue us. We almost became space dust out there because of my stubborn boss here. <laughs> ah! You ought to save your thanks for chaos over there. We were just gonna leave you and fly on out of here. Oh, I see. Thank you, Chaos. No, don't mention it. After all, we all need a little help sometimes. Yeah. He often saves our hides too. So, we can't turn him down when he asks for a favor. I see. That reminds me. Hey, Cosmos. And just what do you think you're doing? You left us and then tried to go to Second Milsia by yourself. Maybe your OS is malfunctioning or something. Yes, that is possible. By the way, what were the orders from HQ? Captain Matthews, may I use the maintenance lab next to the hangar? Just a second, Cosmos. Yeah, sure. What for? Cosmos? Due to the limitations of the test juice condenser, my energy reserves are almost depleted. I wish to receive a co-generator bypass in order to replenish them. Hey! What is wrong with you? Answer me, Cosmos! So, you'll cover the bill, right? Yes. Cosmos! Uh, yes? 
My sensors appear to be malfunctioning. Please adjust them before we disembark at our destination. Wh why should I? Please, Xian. This is part of your job, is it not? <sighs> I'm terribly sorry. The girl is just so stubborn. I do apologize for all the trouble she's causing. It's alright, I'm actually enjoying it. This ship's much livelier with more crew members. You got that right. We can always use some more women around here. How about it? Once we arrive, how about you and I get a suite and settle in with a nice bottle of wine? What? Hey! Uh huh? Uh, sure. Alright, that's enough, Tony. Never mind her, at least she's a real girl. The other one's not even human, she's battle weaponry. You think so, huh? She appears to be just like any other human to me. Captain, any chance of stopping at Sunir? Hmm? That's en route on the column. Three or so days from Italia. If that's your destination, sure, I can do that. I see. And the fee? Today just ain't my day, and getting greedy now won't do me any good. I'll just put it on the tab. I appreciate it. Ah, don't mention it. You're a Marine. Let's just chalk it up to my bit of charity for the Corps. Still lurking around. Ah, it's coming in! Son of a bitch! That's what I meant when I said he looks out for us. Looks out for you? How did he just do that? I've never heard of a human that can defeat Gnosis. There are those who draw well, and those who run fast. Hammer's navigational skills are top-notch, and his knowledge of the net is vast. Tony's helmsmanship skills are unrivaled. No one even comes close. Or so he claims. The captain? Well, no one holds a greater amount of debt than the captain. Ah, yes. Hey, wait a second. I believe everyone has at least one skill that they excel in over all others. It's something that defines who they are. Xion, what is it that defines you? Huh? Me? Well, I... It's the same for me. It's just something I can do. Yep, that's all there is to it. Ah. I see. Right. I think I get it. It sort of makes sense when you put it that way. Yep, that's how it is. That's all that. What the? How can you be convinced by that? That was a Gnosis, Chief. A Gnosis! Well, Captain. We better head for our destination before she throws us off the ship. The girl seems to be a stickler for schedules and all. Man, oh man. So much for my grandiose plans. After this job, I was supposed to pay off my debts. 
then head to Keltia to see the Seraphim sisters live in concert. Bah, you owe Master Guinan too much. You'll never pay it all off. And man, the Seraphim sisters again? You're really hot for them, aren't you? Captain, you don't actually have to go all the way out to Keltia. Why don't you just connect to the UMN and watch it later? You moron. Getting a visual feed is nothing compared to immersing yourself in the real thing. There's a world of difference between the two. It's all about reality. Who are you kidding? It's all the same. Your brain can't tell the difference. Why you... Hurry up and take us out of here. All right. Roger that. Well then, I'll take Xion and the others to their rooms. That's very kind of you. All right, you do that. Damn. Today's been one hell of a day. Master Wilhelm, I have a report from Cosmos. Xian Uzuki and Alan Ridgely have both joined up with Cosmos. I see. This is fortunate. Especially since there's an unidentified ship closing in on the battlefield. And if the ship were to threaten the girl, Cosmos would protect her. Is that not right? Yes. That would be the Prime Directive. Either way, it was a wise decision to pull back Cosmos. There's no need for us to continue serving them or the Federation any longer. Besides, the data for the Rhine Maiden is now complete. All phenomena are moving forward as specified by this compass of order. As for the rest... Gather the necessary factors and wait for the other one to awaken. What's one and a half billion people to us? Their innocence. Surely they deserve more respect. Respect? For what? Save your philanthropy for someone that cares. The experiment may have been a failure, but I've taken steps to recover the emulator. If the need arises, I'm not against using the original either. All we have to do is repeat the process until we get results. Is this all too much for your conscience to bear, Pellegrin? In that case, feel free to reveal everything and wait for your death sentence. What about you? Me tried in a court of ignoble commoners? Don't make me laugh. We are the ones who determine life or death. But wait. Pellegrin, are you telling me that you've forgotten everything we've been striving for these past 14 years? Commander Margulis. What? A message from Lieutenant Commander Vanderkam, sole survivor of the Vanguard Force. The unit was decimated. The Zohar emulator unsecured. Where's the Zohar now? Location unknown. Possibly seized by the Gnosis. I see. Notify the 474th Spec Ops Fleet. We may need to implement Plan 31. Have them stand by in the specified coordinates for further orders. Yes, sir. So, what can you tell us about this man? He was a special forces agent with the Federation Police, a counter-terrorism specialist. 
Of course, that was over a hundred years ago. Now he's a cyborg working freelance missions. A cyborg? How anachronistic. He's a relic from the days when they reanimated the dead. They didn't have disposable realians like we do now. Well, he's certainly got quite a resume. Rumor has it, he deliberately seeks out missions with low odds of success. Is he insane, or just fascinated with death? Well, he's been given a clean bill of mental health. It doesn't look like he does it for the killing. Humph. Advances in science have placed thousands of drugs on our shelves. And yet, we still let psychiatrists wield their influence over us. They use these assessments to validate their existence. I don't believe them one bit. Well, he's got an extremely high success rate. I think he'll be fine. Sir, he's here. Show him in. That'll be all. Yes, sir. Ziggurat 8, isn't it? Upon your death in TC-4667, you donated your body and chose to become a product of Ziggurat Industries. That's correct. Have you heard about the mission? No. Recently, we received information that a certain armed group has shown signs of resurgence. This same group was responsible for the events that took place 14 years ago. The UTIC organization? That's right. The information we've received from our independent sources has helped to identify the location of the UTIC organization's hideout. This structure was originally a shrine for some long-lost ancient religion. It was eventually abandoned and remained uninhabited for centuries. So, you want me to infiltrate and collect information on the group? If that was all we needed, we would have left it to our intelligence agency. Actually, to put it simply, we need you to rescue someone and return her to her rightful place. And technically, she's not human. Just tell me what I need to know. <laughs> A child? Is she a civilian? She's a Realian. A 100 Series Realian. You've heard of them? The 100 Series Observational Realians. Built specifically to combat the Gnosis. I've heard rumors of them. But I didn't know they were disguised as children. Is this the first time you've seen the real thing? Yes. But isn't Vector already mass-producing them? This is a prototype. It will serve as the model for all future 100 series observational units. So, what you're telling me is that securing this little girl takes priority over all else, right? It helps that you're a quick study. So, will you take the mission? A cyborg has no rights. I cannot refuse your request. I will analyze the situation and let you know what weapons and resources I need. I don't mean to demand any compensation, but may I make one request? Go ahead. After my return, I ask that you eliminate the neural memories residing in my brain from my previous life. That's not a problem. But it could be a difficult procedure with a body as outdated as yours. Add as many synthetic parts as necessary. What an odd request. These days, Realians are clamoring for human rights. But here's a man who wants to become a machine. All right, we'll make the arrangements. Thank you. You can get the specifics from her, Dr. Yuri Mizrahi, later. He didn't die in the line of duty. 
It says here he committed suicide. One shot in the head from his beloved pistol. Did you say suicide? Can we entrust the 100 series to that man? What if his self-destructive tendencies arise? Not to worry. He's been equipped with a safety mechanism which prevents him from hurting himself or abandoning his mission. He was brought back to life against his will. Once he replaces the rest of his brain with synthetics, he'll be a complete machine. Only then will he be legally dead. How are you feeling, 100 series realium? Is the food here unsatisfactory? Even realians require nourishment, you know. Are the Federation's 100 series realians so ill-mannered that they don't even reply to simple questions? I don't like that name. Well, my goodness, pardon me. And what would you like to be called, Miss 100 series realian? I don't like strangers to be calling me by my name. Where are you planning on taking me? That, I'm afraid, is not for you to know. What will happen to me? You're going to help us out. Machines like you exist to be used. What happens to you after that, God only knows. Assuming you people even have a God, that is. All I can really do is seek out and find the Gnosis. I can't help you with anything! That may be true, but this part of you is a little different. We'd like to have a word with the man you have hidden inside of you. <gasps> In any case, you'd best be keeping yourself alive as long as possible. He will be arriving soon. See. So that 100 series Realian is encoded with extensive amounts of research data, left behind by the founder of UTIC? Yes. It's data that could affect the entire fate of mankind. What is the founder's involvement? 
The founder of UTIC was the same man who advocated the creation of that child, the 100 series observational unit, Joachim Mizrahi. A madman who lost his humanity by immersing himself in science. You look as if you have something to say. Yes, you guessed correctly. He is my ex-husband. Do you want to know what it was like being married to a murderer? No. In any case, it's certain that the organization is frantically trying to get its hands on that data. I'm afraid we don't have much time to spare. Understood. I'll be leaving tomorrow at 0600 hours. Our hopes rest on you. There's one thing I'd like to clarify. Yes? My instructions are to take the Reallian to the Milshin star system. Yet she's registered with the government as your daughter. Why is it that you don't want me to bring her back here? We're currently carrying out an operation based in the area between Milsha and Mictum. An operation vital to the human race. That's why I'm sending her there. That's all I can say right now. Besides... This way... I won't have to see her either. Yuri... Misrahi... What a strange woman.
That's odd. B Block hasn't checked in yet. I'll go check up on them. You two, stay right there. Yes, sir. Is something wrong out there? Shut up and sit down. That must be where she is. The Contact Subcommittee sent me here to rescue you. The Contact Subcommittee? Mommy? Stand away from the door. I'm going to break it in. Wait, you can't! They said an alarm would go off if I tried to force it open. Hmm. I guess looks can be deceiving. There should be a master key held somewhere in this block. If you can find it... Alright. I'll be right back.
go! just confirm you are the 100 series observational unit prototype correct i don't really like that name do you have another one we'll talk later let's go momo daddy calls me momo i meant he called me momo all right. Let's go, Momo. Okay.
watch the enemy closely and react quickly. Ex-human. Ex-human? A cyborg. An ancient relic. I registered as an organ donor without giving it much thought, and they resurrected me after my death. That infamous life recycling act, right? Yeah. The Species Preservation Act came about thanks to the mess that old law caused. 
still haven't told me your name. It's Ziggurat. Eight. Ziggurat? Eight? You're a real human, but your name sounds more like a model number. I know. How about I call you Ziggy instead? Z-I-G-G-Y. It's short for Ziggurat. I could, but I just couldn't get one. Oh no, it's great, Dad. He's so cute. Hey, Dad, what's his name? Did you give him one yet? Nexus 6. That's just his model number, isn't it? That makes him sound like a robot. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I know. How about Nex? It's short for Nexus 6. What do you think? Huh, Dad? Yeah. That's a great name. Really? Come on, Nex. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, boys. <laughs> do you think it sounds like a puppy's name? Hmm? No. Call me whatever you want. Okay, then Ziggy it is. You'll sound a lot more human now. Well, looks like they're gone. The intruder is after the 100 series. Really? Probably one of the government's dogs. The intruder disappeared from our sensors near D Block. All units are currently patrolling the area. Surround D Block. We'll fence them in from both sides. Yes, sir. sure doesn't look like a simple resurgence of an armed group. What should we do? I don't know. 
We won't be able to stay here much longer. A large number of soldiers are making their way over here. At this rate, this room will be filled with over a hundred soldiers in eight minutes. Recon Realians are pretty handy. I guess rushing them is out of the question. Even for you? Not even a cyborg can take on three eggs units. I'd be shot to pieces. What if the eggs units couldn't use their sensors? Well, it would probably help. But why? I can reduce their ability to some extent. How? The Hilbert effect. Using inverted Hilbert wavelengths, I can create cross interference that automatically shuts down the Eggs D Triple S enemy sensor system. That should take out most of their external sensors. The Hilbert effect? It's an anti gnosis materialization system. Normally, it's spread out over a wide range via an amplifier installed on board a spacecraft. But I can create the effect by myself in small areas like this. That might work. All right, go ahead. Okay. All right, here I go. The Hilbert effect. So this is our secret weapon against the Gnosis. interference. Do you feel the effects too? I'm fine. I'm supposed to have a much higher capacity than them. Rest a bit. I'll take care of this. I'm okay. I can still help out. My nano repair function's still operational.